a hot topic right now and with good reason. A recent report by 600 of the world's top climate experts says if fossil fuel usage continues at its current rate, the earth is in for some cataclysmic changes. Up next, Chris Bell takes a look at an exhibit that paints a picture of how drastic those changes could be. Can you imagine beachfront property on De La Guerra Street? How about an airport where the only planes that can land are seaplanes? Or what if, to get from Carpinteria to Goleta, you had to drive through a series of undersea tunnels? If you're having trouble visualizing this scenario, the Light Blue Line Project is here to help you. Its exhibit, now on the first floor of City Hall, projects how different the coastline would be if some of the worst case global warming scenarios come to fruition. The light blue line is being drawn on the streets at the seven meter above sea level uh, elevation. And uh, that's the amount of, of ocean rise you would get if uh, Greenland melts. Karen doesn't contend Greenland is the only place melting, nor is he saying the ice sheet on Greenland is going to melt tomorrow. He is saying that the human-induced part of climate change has to stop in the next 10 years or it's going to be too late. We really only have a uh, very few number of years to uh, prevent the climate from tipping into a situation that is unlike anything that we've seen in the past. Karen was inspired to act after seeing An Inconvenient Truth, the documentary that tracks the evidence related to global warming. He says he was frustrated with the disconnect between the urgency of the science and the complacency of the public. When you look at the line, you're looking at the effect of a global climate on the streets, you know, of your town. Uh, now, it's not, you know, a current effect, it's a future effect, but you can see it where it would be in the future right at your feet today. So it's, it's, it's just my part of, of trying to bridge that divide between science and, and public awareness and public interest. Karen says seven meters is roughly the same amount of surge that occurred during Hurricane Katrina and the Indian Ocean tsunamis of 2004. I think we are vulnerable in a more immediate uh, sense to events like that. And we're hoping that the seven meter line will again make people more aware of what parts of the town are, uh, are most uh, vulnerable in an emergency. Also on display at the exhibit are photographs of landscapes around the world that are already exhibiting dramatic transformation due to global warming. There are also postcards by local artist Tom Houston that portray Santa Barbara with a higher sea level. You know, we're all invested in the waterfront down here in Santa Barbara. We want to see the ocean down at the beach. We don't want to see it up at the top of Milpas. The project hopes to paint city streets with a blue line indicating where the seven meter elevation lies. After Santa Barbara, Karen would like to take light blue line on the road to other coastal cities, cities like ours that have a high regard for their low lying areas. Every time you drive across the line, you know, or bike across it, or hopefully walk over it, um, it makes you think, you know, are you doing the right thing? Am I doing the right thing today to help keep the ocean down at the waterfront? Karen says the Light Blue Line is partnering with the Community Environmental Council to address solutions to this crisis. For more information about the Light Blue Line, go to lightblueline.org. The exhibit will be at City Hall through June 29th.